the EU's single market is a big success, creating opportunities and benefits for all Europe's citizens. But it doesn't always work smoothly. Administrative obstacles and inadequate enforcement leave the full potential of the single market unexploited. That's why the European Commission has recently adopted the Single Market Act, a series of measures to boost the EU's economy and create jobs. Here at the EU's Committee of the Regions in Brussels, politicians and experts from across Europe have been discussing the opportunities presented by this legislation. Michel Barnier is the European Commissioner responsible for the internal market. Regions have a fundamental role. Let's take a concrete example, public procurement, which accounts for 17% of Europe's economy. I want to make this market simpler and more accessible for small and medium-sized companies, which are the economic fabric of our regions. Completing the single market is a key element of the Europe 2020 strategy, the blueprint for our continent's future prosperity. But what role do Europe's regions have in this process? That's been the focus of a forum organized by the Committee of the Regions, whose president is Mercedes Bresso. She spoke about how enlargement of the EU had brought significant benefits to the single market. Today, with many countries, it's clear that there are bigger risks, but there are also bigger opportunities. Let's not forget that most European countries do most of their business with each other. So to make it easier for companies and workers to circulate more freely in Europe is fundamental. The forum was based around three workshops, one of which focused on border regions, in particular the challenges and opportunities facing public authorities providing services in such regions. Disparities in the single market are often most obvious in border regions. So how could the Single Market Act improve this situation? Karl-Heinz Lamberts, a member of the Committee of the Regions from Belgium, moderated this workshop. What's important is that there's always more contact and that it's reciprocal. Cooperation is always a two-way street and it should seek to enhance the well-being of citizens in a way that wouldn't be possible if everyone focused on their own situation in their own member state. The fallout from the financial and economic crisis has created a new sense of urgency about completing the single market. Jean-Louis Destin, the rapporteur for the Committee of the Regions on the Single Market Act, told the forum that although the single market is more important than ever, it's also increasingly unpopular among the public. Mr Barnier's initiative seeks to try to resolve this paradox by basing the single market on three principles, competitiveness, the social element and governance. And of course it's important that each of these principles are equal. It's also important that Europe's citizens accept the single market much more enthusiastically than they do at the moment. So, for Europe's regions, the Single Market Act could represent a significant boost to their economies and labour markets. Participants at this forum agreed that the time for talking about improving the single market is over. Now it's time for political leaders to take bold and prompt action to make the single market the centre of Europe's economic future.